when it happened to my game, it was not so disturbing. But there were neighbor, neighboring boards where it was beeping when I had to, a lot of time. Well, I still had times, so and you had beeps there, beeps over there, and beeps behind you, and it was just. Ah, uh, like the game started awful. already. Right, so Nakamura Carlson last round, and we have a. Four scotch. scotch four four nights scotch. Yeah. Very Extremely solid. solid line for white. Mm -hmm. So it seems Nakamura knows that a draw secures him an extra white, that's for sure, yeah, so. While it is not clear for, for Magnus, of course. For Magnus, yeah. I'm not sure what happens if two players have plus one, let's say, two players 50% and two players behind. Yeah, How it happens for the number three and four, who, who gets one more white and yeah, maybe good the question. direct encounter. Yes. I'm then even again. not sure if there is a fixed rule for this, but, but probably. I'm not sure. I mean, probably. This 94 line uh, was, I think, quite popular in my use. In 90, I remember in 93, 94, I was analyzing this with uh -huh. Almashi. Uh -huh. uh, those days we were working together, and, uh, and I was playing this uh, scotch with four knights. Uh -huh. And I also tried this 94 setup, and I remember that finally I was not satisfied with it. But it was more than 20 years ago, <laughs> things changed. <laughs> of course, and it's also another thing to play it in a blitz or in a, in indeed, a real yeah, game. Indeed. So white would like to exchange black squared bishop, isn't it? Yes. To have more... Actually, it's kind control. of a reversed, uh, reversed uh, Petrov defense. Uh, that's why uh, Kramnik uh, started uh, mm -hmm. playing it himself with white, mm -hmm. because he had so much experience strategically of this position that he thought that why not to, to give it a try. Mm -hmm. But of course, black has no problems. I mean, after it's after the, the exchange of the light squared bishops, mm -hmm. this knight on a4 is also a bit uh, out of the game. Yeah. And the white king, uh, the h2 pawn especially, can, mm -hmm. can so be... Should he uh, maybe drop back to f2 with the bishop rather than go to, uh, to g3? Because after an yes. exchange on g3... Yeah, to, uh, but now rook a1, queen c7 happens. So Magnus now doesn't give the chance to, to get g3. the bishop f2 g3 mm -hmm. set up, mm -hmm. which was also not exactly ideal. G4, but this is a pawn sacrifice a pawn, now yeah. because bishop takes this also bishop h2. He could have taken on h2 as well. Yeah. Well, okay. But he keeps the black squares. But then f6 will be hanging. <laughs> I mean hanging, not hanging, but the Yes, but okay, the black squared bishop is really controlling the knight on a4, so mm -hmm. it's not like the white knight will end up on f5 immediately. Yes, it's true. Yeah. And besides knight d7, yeah. Okay, black is simply better, yeah? mm -hmm. and it's very yeah. Magnus style. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, knight g6, yeah. there is a weakness on f4. Yeah, it's interesting he didn't take that pawn on h2. He's, he senses that. Yeah, he senses he that probably white will get counterplay. Whether enough or not, it's mm -hmm. not interesting for him. He Plus doesn't want to find out. He's probably very happy with the, the course of events now, and he keeps one rook, and the knight is going to come to e6 or g6, eyeing it. Probably to, square. to e6, yes. yeah, just to, to keep control of. Of the of the center squares. Mm -hmm. well, well, it's it's extremely unpleasant to play this with white. I mean, again, the the play for black is natural, and with white you simply don't know mm -hmm. uh, what to do. So, H2. so he wants to. <coughs> if the bishop takes h2, there will be rook e7. Yes. Most likely. Yeah, no, knight g6 or knight e6, yeah, it's... Mm -hmm. But white wants to get the bishop to g3, so... Yes, stabilize a bit. Black squares. Knight e6, yeah. Maybe just c5, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Maybe just c5. Okay, now white wants knight b2, c4, mm -hmm. and then put a knight on d3. Mm -hmm. That would be the ideal mm -hmm. setup. So the rook on the on b8 is probably <coughs> not doing too much uh, anymore. So maybe yes. we should go back to a central file, maybe d8.
but it's also amazing yeah, how Hikaru is uh, holding together his position yeah? mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. everybody thinks of him as a great uh, attacking player yes. and very creative and uh, he's fantastic in, in attack but actually Which he's also, also very good true. it's endings, true yeah. Yeah, his ending te technique is not bad huh? Of course. Yes. No, I mean, if you are one of the best players in the world, uh, yes. you actually have to be good in everything. It's just uh, another thing that uh, because of your style, you prefer to play different type of position. But of course, he can handle any kind of position. Mm -hmm. So C4, of course, also correct mm -hmm. to undermine White's idea of pushing C4 himself and get a blockade on the light squares. the clocks. Is it true that um, Magnus, Magnus, Magnus is more time, so yeah. much ahead? Yeah. Now he got this beautiful knight to a four. He got a beautiful knight, the plane now becomes... Small pawn, but, uh, yes, but he is winning it back. Yeah? After queen e4, he has yellow. queen takes b3. This was a very important mm -hmm. uh, tactical nice. idea. But, yeah. but still, maybe maybe white has to go for this mm -hmm. and then white has rook e1 threatening queen e8 mate but the knight can yeah but queen takes a4 then queen, queen takes, takes f4 a, yeah, then the exchange of the knight is is okay yeah queen e4 <coughs> rook e1. They spotted these tech tactics of course yeah now maybe g5 maybe g5 mm -hmm. is the move because then you protect the knight and if white plays knight c5 then queen a2 and queen g2 mate can be threatened. Yeah, this g5 is... But knight c5 still. still. Ah, queen a2. And rook g1, queen f2, right? Yeah, and then... This looks uh, awful. Yeah, that's, that should be gone. But, yeah, he will have some knight d7 ideas to try and... Yes, but I'm not sure if queen f2 is forced. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is some... I mean, rook b2, queen e8 check, king g7, queen e5 check. King G, King, there or F6, F6, then Queen E7 check. Draw, yeah. ah. King G6, not hundred percent sure. Yeah. But this so is that. Uh, through the, the yes, what because it's it to be the critical. It's line. probably force. So 45 seconds for Nakamura, one minute more for Carlson. So actually, night. Yeah, now he's searching for a force win, but mm -hmm. this is if if he cannot find it, if there is no force win, it's yes. it's not so good to spend so much time. But so the question is, how can he avoid this knight d7, knight f6 check ideas? Yes. Knight f6, so that's a way, that's that's a way. A way <laughs> yeah, just to win the exchange, not to mate, but mm -hmm. win the exchange and actually then the game seems, is over. Seems yeah? like the game is over. Queen e5. Oh, interesting. Giving back the rook, but he is he gonna mate him? So check and queen b2 back. But then it's yeah. a lost end game. Ah, I see. Yeah. Because ah, he's actually down, a pawn yeah. up. Pawn down, yeah, yeah, he's a pawn up. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. Yeah. And there is there is no perpetual check, and queen e2 is threatening. Yeah. Well, and actually Magnus is then plus one if he wins this game yes, and, and might and it, yeah. uh, win the tournament, I mean, or share, or I don't know. Yeah, <coughs> yeah this is now just hopeless. The clock is ticking down also for Nakamura. Four seconds. 91. So easy. Nice trick, but it did not work against <coughs> Magnus. He will take and drop back to d3 with the with the king. <coughs> yeah, now any move queen c3 yes. and it's probably and it's designs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, incredible comeback. Yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. but that's how, how he does it. Yeah. He I noticed that he always starts slowly, I mean, also classical tournaments, and he needs some rounds to adapt. It's not like Mikhail Tal, who used to basically lose the first game almost every tournament. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, of course, but uh, he starts slowly, and then he, he always finds his rhythm back. And now.